Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. I was reading a really good article here over on Pixic, how to handhold your camera correctly at slow shutter speeds. Now this is something that a lot of people underestimate or I think VR or IS is gonna help them with and they don't need to have proper technique. For those of us who've been shooting for years, we understand how important proper technique is when hand holding properly. You can actually combine proper technique with VR or IS in a lot of situations and get even better uh, results because you can go to lower shutter speeds and things like that. Uh, hand holding to a, a half a second, even two seconds uh, is possible with good technique. A lot of people don't think that is possible and it's because they never bothered to learn and practice good technique. Um, this article is really good. I was just going over it and I was reading it and I agree with pretty much everything he said. It's by uh, Rick Doble over on Pixic. I'll post the link down below. You can have a read of it. It's a really good article. Um, basically, the main points he's covering is how to press the shutter button. A lot of people uh, wouldn't even give that two seconds thought, but it's very important when hand holding at low shutter speeds. You want to make sure that you're not holding the camera such that your your trigger finger is right against the camera. Your finger should be almost comically up above the trigger, the shutter button, so that you can hold nice and steady and then calmly on an exhale is always the best. Get a, Take a deep breath and then on a long exhale, come down with your finger and slowly, you don't want to push down, you want to rock it. You want to rock your finger onto the shutter so you're at your half press and then exhale and rock it to do your final press. Practice that and you'll find that you can start getting lower shutter speeds and very sharp images hand holding and it's a, it's technique and it takes practice but it works and um, he uh, he kind of goes into it in detail here kind of explaining it but that's the sum the, the summary of the way most of us who have learned and have practiced good hand holding techniques would do it and um, you can certainly check the article out too um, he goes into holding the camera for maximum support this is really important too if you're not using a tripod if you're not have uh, if you can't find anything else to brace the camera on you know if you if you're there and you got the car there or there's a fence there or a telephone pole you can lean up against anything that you can use for support helps if none of this is available then what you want to do is you want to cradle the camera in your left hand and you want to tuck your elbow into your body right up against your ribs so that you're forming a solid support for the camera and then you combine that with the proper trigger motion but you're almost trying to make a solid support like a tripod out of your body and that's what you want to do you want to tuck it in so your body is as solid as possible and then the next thing he he suggests, and this is a good thing for especially for newer cameras with the DSLRs like the 60D that has the very angle screen, or if you're shooting with a point and shoot, you may find that shooting with the viewfinder um, or the LCD to see which one works better. The LCD may give you a better stance, and you may be able to get a uh, a, a sharper image and hand hold it at a lower sp speed better. You, you got to check it out for yourself and see what works. It's a good point to try, certainly with the newer cameras like the, uh, the D5000 uh, or the 60D that has the very angle LCD, that would work. Um, he talks too about getting support from uh, structures in the environment, as I mentioned, you know, a telephone pole, if your car's there, anything you can use to steady yourself will help. Um, and then basically, kind of sums it all up, practice, practice, practice is what, as I was saying, with learning your trigger button and how to, how to properly hit it, practice makes perfect as in many, many things and uh, most things. And it's something that it becomes a little bit of a fine art that the more you do, the more you practice with it, you will find that you can actually get better and better at hand holding at low shutter speeds. So anyways, folks, really good article. I'll post the link below. Uh, it's over on Pixic. It's uh, Rick Dobbles, How to Handhold Your Camera Correctly at Slow Shutter Speeds. And um, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new video posts, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks a lot.